Hello everyone. In today's touch designer tutorial, we'll actually see how those beautiful patterns can be created. This pattern actually gives you an idea of the pages which are just uh, floating around with every wind gush which is uh, coming across them. And um, well, you could be thinking that how this patterns can be created. Well, let me show you the entire network. So yeah, with very few components of Touch Designer, you would actually see how those beautiful patterns can be created. So before we start on the tutorial, well, this is my YouTube channel. I, I would really like if you guys could subscribe to my channel. Uh, it's more like a token of appreciation. I read a lot of comments, I reply to them. Uh, those comments are very encouraging. It makes me feel that people are looking at my videos, they are liking it, they're learning a lot about it. And uh, honestly, I'm very passionate to teach the designer to everybody. All right, so let's get going. First thing first, let's go and get a line, right? Now you would be thinking that line has got point A and point B. So let's go with minus 0.5 and the point B will make it as 0.5. Now here you'll see the number of points as two. Let's keep it two for now. So let's keep it two for now. Now the simplest thing that we could do is, let's have a particle. A particle SOP will be applied on top. By having particle SOP, you can actually see there are two particles that we can see here. Now what we could do is, as and when we increase the number of points in the line, we would see the number of particles increasing. So if you want to have more number of waves coming around, we can make it 20. So with 20, you'll see the dots are increasing as well. But for now, let's just keep it very simple by putting 10. Done. The other thing we do is let's have null and then let's have a geometry comp. Then we have camera and then we have a material. So for now, we can have a material as constant. And let's apply this constant material to the geo. Let's have a few more things. Let's have a, a render top. Let's have null. So pretty much our stuff is ready to go. All right, so it's one of the most simplest network that we see here and definitely we'll actually get to know a lot about it. So let's start with the particles. Here we can see there is something called as force and force is the one that we are going to use today to go around and do some really creative stuff. You can see that there are both, um, there's a value for both which is 100. For now let's make it as 1000. Now there is a life expectancy. This life expectancy has been set as three, which is around a three seconds. Let's make it as six for now. Now let's apply some movement. Let's apply some wind. And by applying wind, you can see there is a movement coming up, which is going upwards. Now what we're going to do is we'll use LFO. So let's have LFO and just apply little bit of force to the X side of the wind. And by having this, you're already starting to see a little bit of change coming around. With very few components and by using some of the important uh, parameters of each component, we can produce some of the best results. And this is what we are able to witness now. Now you would be thinking that the look is not that great. So let's go to camera. Let's go to camera and let's bring it little closer. So I've set the values as one. Now everything is just on top. Let's take it down. So this is how it's coming around. So it's at 0.3. Now let's go to LFO and let's reduce the frequency to something which is really, really stable. So let's go and reduce the amplitude to something which is reasonably good. So this is really turning out to be nice. Now you'd be thinking what else could be done? So now let's try the feedback loop, okay? So we go around and we say 
feedback. Then we apply a little bit of um, blur. So let's use blur, blur, let's use blur. Let's have the level and then we have the transform and then we have the composite. So by using these basic foundation, we will be able to produce some of the good work. So let's finish off with the feedback loop. Let's make loop uh, instead of multiply, let's make it as add. And as and when we are doing it, we can say there's a difference coming up. So let's apply null and let's give RGB key and let us look at the output. Now let's disable the blur. Let's go to level, go to post and make it as 0.9 and increase it little. So this is where the waves are doing its really good job. Now let's do this. Let's increase the number of points from 10 to 20. And by increasing number of points, we can say there is really good stuff coming around. So you can see there is a movement already happening, but we need a movement which is really subtle and really turning out to be nice. So let's use this uh, Windex. Let's cut that parameter from there. And we use that parameter into turbulence. And by having it into turbulence, we can slowly, slowly see how the, how the wind is actually helping to shape that entire stuff. Now let's increase the amplitude and by increasing the amplitude, we can say the waves and the motion is really adding the values. We can play around with the turbulence period as well. Let's set the value as, as 1.14 and let's see how well the output is coming around. The other better thing that we could do is let's increase the frequency to 0.3 and let's have the amplitude as one. And now we see how the waves are moving around. We also have more options to play around with Z axis and Y axis. So let's try and apply some turbulence and we would actually get to know how well the particles are moving around. So you have various options that you can play with. So this is just an example where we are trying to play with the Y direction of the turbulence and it's bringing some of the uh, some of the nicer um, outlook. So it's actually giving some of the best views. Well, so at the end of the day, you can imagine by playing around with some of the most foundational components of Touch Designer, you will be able to create some of the some of the beautiful patterns and beautiful engaging uh, artwork that is so soothing for your mind. So this is something um, I would always like to share with everyone and um, I hope uh, such tutorials are really helping you out to visualize and experiment something really new in the world of Touch Designer. And uh, I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. Well, I've got my Instagram account as well. Um, you can follow me on Instagram. You can message me on Instagram. Um, uh, if there are any questions or queries or anything that I can help you with, I'll be more than happy to provide all the necessary assistance. This is it in this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Uh, again, please like and subscribe to my channel. Um, you can follow me on Instagram and uh, I'll come back with some more exciting tutorials for all of you. Thank you for watching and bye for now.